Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. So in the last video, I went over using shape tools to create masks, as well as take away from parts of the masks, as you can see here. But what I want to do now is cover areas of the mask that can't be used with shape tools, and instead I'm going to use the pen tool. A good example would be something like this. So we're going to go over how to do that. You can go over to the pen tool in the toolbar or press P and we're going to start by making a selection and clicking around the edges of this top building. And You'll very quickly notice that it's already taking shape. All you really have to do is conform around these and I'm actually doing this in a much more perfected way than I have to considering how big it's going to be on the poster. And as you'll notice, it's actually starting to make the uh, spire itself disappear. Not to worry, this is something that will be easily remedied as we are almost finished. So all we have to do is click around. Our area. And we're done, there you go. You can use the shape tools to get rid of these unsightly little areas right here. And that's all there is to it. Now if you wanted to get really precise with this, like say, cover this area here which isn't really fully filled in, you can change each point that you've created with your pen. So let's go ahead and do that. Press the A button, select one of the points, and you can manipulate them as much as you like. Now let's say you have a rounded edge like this tiny little spire area right here. And we just wanted to make it a little more precise. Well, the way you can do that is press the pen tool and delete the point, then add another one, and you'll get a point with these little brackets. And these are really cool because these give you curved points. So in order to move these around, you press and hold command, and then you click and drag. And as you can see, it's curved. Now what just happened there is I lost the selection, so all you have to do is press A and click on the selection again, and you can manipulate it again. So that's really all there is to it. It's pretty simple. Now in the next video, everything here is going to be completely taken care of, and I'm going to move it over into the poster.